Hi, I'm Hannah Ewing with Selling in Suburbia. I'm sitting here this morning with David Winans. He's the author of The Texaplex, and he's a broker for Better Homes and Gardens, and he has so much great information. He's the one who actually came up with the term The Texaplex, so I will turn it over to you and tell us a little bit about what The Texaplex is. Sure, so The Texaplex is a triangular area in Texas, and it takes in Dallas-Fort Worth to the north, and then down to Houston, over to San Antonio, up through Austin, and back up to Dallas-Fort Worth. And that area is about 25% uh, of the land mass of Texas, and, but 75% of Texans live in that small tri triangular area. And it's, uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's just a booming area. The population growth is incredible. So we were kind of joking earlier that when people think about Texas, they all picture us in cowboy hats and cowboy boots and riding our horses. But, mm -hmm. I mean, we're a huge metroplex. Right. Um, and the growth that we were talking about. So he came up with the term in 2008. And tell us a little bit about that time and how you got started with all of this. So it was, you know, through 2008, uh, the market, you know, there was the Great Recession in America. And... Uh, I needed to bring up the morale of my fellow realtors, and so I did a video of the Texaplex, and it's on YouTube, and uh, and I sent it across all realtors across Texas, and it just, it kind of took off, and the governor's office started using it. I had Rick Perry come and visit me, which was truly uh, Very cool. surreal, Yeah. Um, and he handed me a card that said Texaplex, and I'm like, I don't even have a card that says Texaplex, <laughs> but he said... I'm the governor, and I when I say something, people say, oh, he's just bragging, but he goes, I just showed him the video of Texaplex, and, and it speaks for itself, but he said, I just used it in Israel last week, and, wow. but you know how much Rick Perry did bring a lot of business to the, you know, the, the Texaplex area. Yeah, so, so um, tell us a little bit about where you think, so my background, I was a financial advisor for 15 years, so I love real estate as an investment, and I thought it was fascinating where you see us heading over the next 20 mm -hmm, to 30 years. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, you think just Dallas-Fort Worth alone is larger than 31 other states. So Dallas-Fort Worth has a population today of 7.4 million people. And uh, it's expected to grow up to 2050, which 2050 sounds far off, but it's really not. Right. Uh, that there will be over 16 million people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So... All those people need a place to live, and uh, so you have to, you know, the the people move for op, you know opportunity, and a lot of people are moving to Dallas Fort Worth because of opportunity, because of lower taxes, yes. and at the end of the day, after they make their house payment, they can also go to a restaurant. So our restaurants are always <laughs> so full because they have you know discretionary income yes. after, after they make their house payment. Right. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of what we were talking about too. Is the real estate here? is a lot less speculative than in other parts of the country, New York, California. And I think it's hard for investors in other states to understand right. our you market. Right, because kind of come down to building costs because you, you look at houses that we have on the market for two, 300000 they they can't, you know, they, they're probably not going to go down because the building cost alone supports the prices that they're at, which right. is truly amazing. And my wife and I were recently out to California and we're like, well, we were in Del Mar, and I would see these prop signs in front of a yard. I'd look it up. I'm like, how does that make sense? Now, if it's on the beach, it's worth it. Yeah. But other than that, I don't, you know, weather's great. But there's just more opportunity here. And so I think you have so many people moving from uh, California to Texas because of the, uh, the opportunities here. And yeah. they, they can afford a mansion here, literally a mansion compared to what they could have in Del Mar. Right. So here, where you're looking at a 4,000 square foot brick home, media room, game room, maybe 500, 600,000. And the picture that you showed me earlier was a dilapidated fixer upper <laughs> in California right. for 650. Right. And they're bragging about it. Yeah. So, so like, that was really cheap. So, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with me this morning. It was a pleasure to talk to you and get to know you. Thank you, Hannah. It's a pleasure to be here.